Hey guys, what's happening? Joy here. Doing a fantastic fragrance review. Actually, the first impression, as you can see from the title, it's uh, Jean Paul Gaultier new fragrance. And uh, I didn't really expect it to come out so soon. Uh, I was told that it would come out much later this year in Malaysia, like for the December and all. But surprise, surprise, I went to the mall yesterday, walking around, trying a few fragrances. Then I saw this, it's out. It, uh, mall called Sogo and then it's just out I think it's just there other malls even KLCC the Twin Towers where we go usually shopping they don't have it Duh. so basically yes it's gonna be a bit longer video because as you can see I'm very very excited and this actually I think one of the best so far uh, releases in this year so I'm gonna be talking about them actually first impression and I'll tell you a little bit story so bear with me all right so first of all uh, my, as you know, that uh, Jean Paul Gaultier is very famous for their legend. Um, it's called Le Mans. Uh, it's been there around for years. Our generations before us, they've been using it, like our elder brothers, uncles, and whatnot. So basically, as you can see, I have it. This was one of my earliest bottles. I think second bottle that I purchased when I started collecting. So. The fragrance itself, actually I was really, really heavily influenced by Mark, who is my fragrance guru, always I say, salute to Mark, okay, <clears throat> I use it quite a bit, I took it to Bangladesh, but it didn't work that, the way that I wanted it to, because the weather was not just right, beautiful fragrance, okay, lavender bomb, so then, there was another one in my list, that I really, really wanted to, it was side by side, I saw it, which was this, this one actually had the performance, and does have the power that, the fragrance requires party animal okay this one is like beast mode as you all know so basically like <clears throat> the third one uh, there were like actually more uh, uh, some more releases like a uh, lot of flankers for summer and whatnot and then even recently there was a Popeye edition which I didn't find that attractive so basically what they've been doing is the same bottle that they just tweak the juice a little bit here and there and they call it different flankers so I think there was one bottle I really wanted, I was interested in. It was more the white bottle, the flower edition, I don't know, well, love flower or something. So I, I couldn't find anywhere, but I was interested in that bottle. But what really got me interested, as I saw earlier this year, I mean, the ad was coming out uh, of this new fragrance, Jean Paul Gaultier's The Essence, Essence de Le Mal EDP. So I saw it released in Europe. I think yeah and then I was waiting for in Malaysia so as you guys all know I'm in a short trip in Bangladesh uh, in Malaysia right now and then I actually went to search this fragrance couldn't find it anywhere because the the shop attendant told me like uh, it will be out by December during the new year or the Christmas time rather so I was a bit disappointed but I was looking forward to buy it next year but guess what I was in the mall yesterday it's called Sogo it's one of the biggest malls in Malaysia I went there and then I, s I went to the Jean Paul Gaultier. I was just walking around trying few fragrances. I went to actually check a few Burberry fragrances. Suddenly I saw this and guess what? It's out. All right. I cannot stop smiling because since I smelled it yesterday, I mean, I wanted to buy it right away. But then usually I, I told myself, control, behave. Because uh, what happens is I always buy things too fast like uh, I just see it and I buy it and sometimes there are some regrets So I just thought like be a little bit Professional if I if, if that's the word so I thought okay Let me let me smell this and then I sprayed on my skin I told her to spray it on my skin and gave it time So I waited whole day to check how it turns out to be how is the dry down? How's the performance? The whole night I would keep smelling my arm. I mean like it lasted me quite some time and I was like smelling and smelling it and I knew right away I have to get this there was just like nothing else I had a lot of the other things to get in my list before I leave and go back as you know I'm going back to my country and the thing is a lot of the things in the list I had to cancel it to buy this so you must know how important this is for me this really really made me I was I woke up really excited to get this no breakfast nothing just got go to the shower and just boom i drove up to the mall the moment they open i got in all right and i went there i'm like give me essence give me essence right now all right so as you can see so basically let's 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 get into the thing because i have to control my excitement i'll come to that a bit how it smells how it's everything so let me uh, go with the uh, 
the one by one okay first of all the fragrance it's called jean paul gaultier lamal essence de perfume intense so quite a huge name and trust me guys in the name it's all right don't worry about the name it's all justified okay so this is gonna be first impression but still i'm gonna talk about the stuff that i noticed and i love about it and if something there is i don't like about it i also talk about it, okay so this one actually comes edp concentration or the perform so as you can understand supposedly concentration wise it's stronger than the other two but uh, no make no mistake these are edts they are not weak by any means all right they're also strong but then the edp concentration so let's see how it works okay so this is a 2016 release this year's new release and one of the latest like the newest fragrance okay so the perfume for this actually is a new perfume the original francisca francis carjan who made lamal and i don't know if i if he made ultramal i guess the same person but he didn't make this so there's a new perfume let me see if i can get his name right according to fragrantica the name is quentin bish I'm so sorry if I got that wrong, okay, but he's the new perfumer and then he is the one who was given the Responsibility to come out with this special release. All right, so the <coughs> Bottle I got with me is a 125 ml bottle it comes in two sizes one is 75 ml and other one is 125 ml The typically Jean-Paul go to the Lamal line release. Okay, so for me I had the bigger size, okay and in Malaysia, I think they only release only one size, 125 ml. And uh, I don't know why they do that. Sometimes people just want to get uh, different sizes as well. But then, yeah, for me, no complaints. I, I would go for the big ball anyway. Okay, so the price for this, I think, is uh, I paid around 95 USD. Uh, yes, 95 USD. Uh, give or take, yes, around 95. So basically, be ready to pay the, I mean, whatever is price on offer you know like you're not gonna get a discount at this point it just came out so let me show you the presentation <sighs> the typical comes with a typical tin or the can how you would say it gorgeous looking shiny and golden kind of like rose gold if you've seen iphone or other samsung phones they have the rose gold the glossy thing so yeah it comes with that and you open it from the below <sighs> very difficult yeah oh, crap okay never mind I won't, I won't try to but the thing is be careful when you take out the fragrance because this one I had to struggle with opening the bottle I mean take out the bottle from this and then it actually knocked the side of the thing so be careful I don't know the, this is not very convenient to use but looks pretty okay so then I also had uh, they gave me free stuff goodies who, who doesn't like that two samples for Lumal always can use those handy okay and then Check out this. I got a bag as well, so it's travel bag, very very handy. Love love this stuff. All right. <coughs> Excuse me, got a little bit cold going, but I'm gonna be doing this video anyway. I was gonna do it anyway. All right. So let's see the presentation. My first thing was I wanted to get this bottle just for the bottle itself. I didn't want, I didn't care about how it's gonna smell. I'm a big fan of Lamal and uh, Ultramal as well. So for me. I just wanted to in my collection and I was thinking if the juice becomes great you know it comes out great to be a bonus so thing is I got to try it yesterday only and then since then I have like two days more or less one and a half day of experience so I'll come to the juice let me show you the presentation look at the bottle guys like the way it's cut so so pretty look at the stopper it comes with atomizer here and then you take it out to spray so basically it has a locker just like the rest of them all right the color on the top matches the tin can here same color is the sprayer okay and yeah you got some information down there look at the just look at edges you know like look at the way it's cut like a diamond you know so gorgeous guys the torso is there it's a little bigger than the other bottle i'll show you the size here because uh, i think a little taller than the older one because the bottle previous ones it's also 125 ml but the bottle actually the bottom is not that you know heavy glass so basically it was like the juice is all the way down for this it has like very heavy base and the bottle is quite heavy very nice premium fill in the hand because of this extra space that's taken the heavy glass it's heavier and it's taller 
and bigger as well so the back really really handsome really beautiful oh my god I, <laughs> you know i wish i could propose to this bottle like you know how much i treasure dhi even the recent purchase i did the Valentino more intense so lanoid i love those bottle designs but this one bits all for me in my book at least this is my preference okay love this bottle guys like 100 out of 10 done all right so the sprayer actually uh, for me let me try i seen the spray in the mall but this is the first time i'm going to be spraying this so let's see the spray okay wow Ooh. beautiful sprayer it, it doesn't shoot so like a machine gun or anything but it shoots just so delicately and so beautifully the mist it gives hits your target and you don't even have to bring your arms to it, towards your face you can smell it already <sighs> yeah beautiful 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 opening burst you know <sighs> love this stuff okay lovely lovely okay let me uh, let me try to be you know a little less excited which i'm trying my best but i'm not being able to the top notes comes with the famous cardamom note as you know if you know lani delon similar cardamom note but uh it's a bit different because it, the uh, lani delon it tart with a bit more spicier you know but this one is little it's it's more towards armani code perfumeo that way like that kind of sweetness with added the cardamom but the sweet cardamom if you can imagine sweet cardamom not the spicy one and also a little bit of bergamot yeah i see that <sighs> this cold is really killing me because this is the last thing i needed because when i am trying to sniff something i didn't need that but anyway i can still smell it yeah a little bit uh, bergamot and then pepper pepper is there yeah with the sweetness at the cardamom and the opening little bit pepper there so <sighs> in the middle like yesterday from my experience like uh, when i was smelling my arm i could smell it okay because the edp concentration is built such a way it's not a very loud projector like uh, i i told you about the dhi or even ultramol those, those the strong opening it has a sweet opening and it's it's edp in a sense that it will be more in your skin and then it will be like the scent bubble around you you know like it will be surrounding you so you can smell it pretty nicely but then the opening is very classy and sort of like um, projecting in the royal way you know beautiful in the middle uh, they enlisted lavender as i got it from fragrant ticket uh, i let me read it out lavender suede cinnamon and sage so in the middle i was looking for the lavender this is not real lavender bomb like uh, many other fragrances that i own uh, but i definitely get the sweeter like 1 million vibe uh, the cinnamon from 1 million you know it goes towards the move towards sweet and then leathery kind of a scent so basically it's uh, the lavender focus is shifted from the original lamal uh, which was making it very difficult to wear it in a heat because when you go with lamal in the dead heat like in malaysia i always say the humidity and heat even in bangladesh it becomes very powdery and all so i think this one will work like better than the original lamal but still it's going to be for cooler weather okay so the cardamom turning into cinnamon just amazing i mean the sweetness the trend now the lamal uh, i i wouldn't say that they are trying to copy the trend right now like the way it's going sweet salvatore ferragamo the umo the one i had like valentino umo intense so all of them are going for sweet and then more or less every single fragrance they have this sweet fragrance these days this one is not following the trend um exactly it's do it's been done differently you know like if you really want a armani code perfumo but you thought in summer it's too much and then it, too much powder it doesn't have that powder but it has the little bit of the cinnamon note so basically from cardamom the real spice fair it's coming to a, in the party you know so basically and there's sage you know enlisted but i think the sage in the will come more towards the dry down in the end you know like when it's about to end so the last uh, stage you're going to get is 
cumarin and also vanilla and mus musky dry down which yes i did get so it works very elegant and classy way uh, the whole fragrance it's not for partying it's not for a um, immature or juvenile sort of a carnival it's more for a real man so basically i think for my first initial impression lamal has grown up to be the man i think this one can be pulled by people who have distinctive taste just look at the juice look at the color of the juice very unique remind me a little bit of angel man the dark aspect and then this one i think the juice is telling you it's gonna be a nighttime scent and i think yeah this will, it will work at night beautifully it will work beautifully at night and um the sweetness of it a little bit chilled weather like um not when during when it's hot maybe because in the heat it won't give you the expected sort of uh, outcome that you're looking for and but when this is going to be a little bit the weather is going to be a little cooler because i'm going back in bangladesh we get do get the winter unlike we do have in malaysia so bangladesh you're going to have the december to february it's going to stay very cold it's going to go uh, pretty much until like 15 degrees or so 17 degrees so it's going to get very cold so i am really excited to be wearing this so how many sprays and where i think for this initially from my experience since it's not loud bang bang kind of a sh uh, fragrance i think i'm gonna go with this definitely two on the neck one on the chest one on the shirt and then wrist here i don't think i want to wear fragrance i don't wear it so much because when you wash your hand it goes away so basically try to wear it somewhere here here or in the arms so two so i think that's that's how much is gonna go two two four five six seven and one maybe eight I usually go more because we have to spray more to make it last <sighs> I am really <laughs> the excitement is getting to me all right but uh, for uh, longevity someone asked me how is the performance on this for this particular fragrance I wouldn't care even if it lasted me only one or two hours because of the bottle itself already one but the juice is so beautiful and the fragrance performance for EDP concentration. EDPs are known for basically more towards your skin scent to last you longer, project less. That's what exactly happens with this. I think the Jean Paul's main uh, the focus is sweetness, you know, like the, there was a ladies release, the orange bottle. I think the Lamal, the female version, that was so sweet. Like it's sweet, not sickeningly sweet, but very attracting and an attractive kind of sweet and it was very alluring so that's the kind of sweet the signature sweetness is back okay so the powderiness is less it has that cardamom on top cinnamon in the middle and then with along with the leather okay like suede kind of leather and in the end it will go slowly into the musky and vanilla and you know that sort of a dry down it's a very soft and sophisticated scent guys i'm telling you for so for what i've been smelling i i think uh, for fragrance performance you're gonna get around five to six hours longevity out of this and projection i think you're gonna get two hours so some people they're getting different results because people have different skin i myself don't have rich skin like it fragrance don't stick to me that much so i have to reapply even for me but you know like for me this is working just fine not being biased or anything not because i'm blind about this or not because i'm a mark fan or something but this one does work on me so the whole night i was thinking and wondering like should i get this and i'm like hell yeah i have to get this stuff okay so basically and the longevity is gonna be like around five to six hours mark and seven hours or so it's gonna be faintly there for our conditions okay for winter countries i'm not sure like colder countries i'm not sure so for what you're gonna get like uh, for your price of course you pay retail it's never usually worth it like i'm never gonna say paying retail go for it okay but the difference between people who love fragrances like we do and people who just casually wearing fragrance they don't bother about money they have shitload of money so for them it's okay they, they they buy it or they buy it now or later but if you are a fragrance bro or you are like a you know cologne addict or you truly love fragrances over every single thing every other thing this is your thing 
go get it i mean i mean for me i i would and i did okay and uh, jean paul gaultier line many people are not fan of it you know like especially this one people many people don't like this because of the powderiness and then the you know the lavender and then the whole way it, it's kind of like too much for some people and it's a bit like you know um, playboyish kind of scent and then some people i think this one got less little bit less hate because uh it is a sweet fragrance sweet fragrance are usually well you know like well received with the fruitiness the pineapple the pear and also the bubblegum feel so for the clubbing many people the young people loved it for this my recommended uh, age for this i think it would be for match your crowd young people can pull it off like 20 to 25 years that bracket people can pull it off but for me if you really ask me this one is for 25 and up that's that kind of uh, age range so this one you should if you wait at night you're gonna be sexy man I'm telling you just not for the ladies for yourself and you're gonna be so confident going to a date you're gonna be confident going to a very high-class party or event. this is so gorgeous I'm telling you so for me like if I have to rate it out of 10 I'm gonna give this 15 out of a 10 like 100 out of 10 I'm not gonna be able to have any complaints until now maybe with the time as it progresses maybe I'll see if the hype that I created myself like for me it goes down or the I, I'm gonna be like less uh, satisfied with it I don't know for time being since the moment I been following this fragrance until this point I am ecstatic man I'm like I'm sold this is gonna be always like I'm gonna be going back to Bangladesh fully fully satisfied I'm broke at this point like <laughs> I shouldn't have got this this was not planned so basically I'm gonna go back but much happier because I have this in my collection okay so first initial impression that's uh, that's all I can tell you and I think ladies gonna love this stuff this one I think if it's uh, for men or ladies can wear it like I think ladies can pull it off if ladies really love men's fragrances and it has that sweetness like I mentioned, similar would be like Armani Code Profumo, you know, that sort of, uh, and then even the Salvatore Ferragamo, the new Umo, it has that, uh, the tiramisu kind of uh, sweetness, carmon feel, okay? So I think this one has that sweetness. So ladies can wear it like, I think ladies can wear this stuff. But I think I suggest it for men more because of the spicy notes, you know, cardamom and cinnamon, that's so far my first impression that's where I get from this initially okay so maybe with time my this one will grow more or I'll try to I'll find more notes in it okay but what a gorgeous scent guys what a gorgeous scent what a beautiful bottle and I think I, maybe too early to tell but this could be one of the best releases of this year for designers game all right so as time goes by I'll do a full review uh, and I'll, I'll tell you uh, more details and uh, how it develops on the skin, how it dry down, how it worked for me in Bangladesh, like winter time. I'll come and do a proper review of this. So for time being, this is what my, my these are these have been my observations. So thank you so much, guys. And I think there are not that many reviews out yet because I don't think many people have bought this or owned it. For me, I don't care. Like I am into fragrances like crazy like many of the people out there and I would actually go before anything else I'll go for the fragrance that really means a lot to me this fragrance do mean a lot to me even the one I bought Umo Intense so I'm very happy with my recent purchases okay so I suggest you go and give it a try if it's out there in your country already uh, have an open mind and try to have not be so judgmental from the beginning like I don't know Jean Paul line sucks you know too much lavender blah blah or the bottle is too cheesy whatnot try to give it time and then see because this is a whole new fragrance it doesn't have any similarity between this or this maybe a little bit of sweetness from this but not the fruity ones so this is a whole new fragrance and I suggest and I, I recommend I would recommend this I'm telling you this is a new fragrance, new release, even though it's similar kind of a pattern, but it's a new fragrance for Jean Paul and the signature sweetness, which 
is pretty evident in the women's one women's version of it it's in this now and for night time sexy night out confident nights out and then a bit more mature like good taste and then up class feel yeah try this out i'm loving it so far okay so that's all for right now and then i'll come back with a proper review as i mentioned and then for me i think uh i will always have this in my collection i have a i have a feeling not so much with lamal but that one just i had to add that all right so uh keep 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 posting keep uh, commenting keep letting me know how what you thought of it you know what's your experience with this fragrance and do if you like my video give it a thumbs up maybe if possible you know or do subscribe so i really appreciate it. it means a lot to me too so guys take care and then be good keep playing keep smelling fantastic take care